What's up, Turtle Man? Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, so I am here. I'm going to be filming a makeup haul. I'll probably turn that fan off when I go to do it. This might be in several parts, just to let you know. Um, so what I've done first, here you guys are, hi, is laid out all of my makeup that I'm going to be putting on my face. Uh, so to start off, we have the primer, concealer, I'm not sponsored by this brand, um, but when I was uh, starting to become, I was in between not manic and uh, trying to figure out like my medicines and stuff, I accidentally purchased this, so we're going to try it out and see if I like it. I like how the bottle is feels like glass. Uh, that really just means that it's fancy. And this looks really spot on, so we'll see. And then we have my powder. We have my highlighter. We have my bronzer. My blush. And then, last but certainly not least, these are the double headed brushes. I love those for eyeshadow. Uh, it makes it so much easier. I have the Urban Decay Naked 3 uh, palette. I would like one that's like has blues and greens in it. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, this palette is pretty old. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, okay. I'm not going to blind you by the mirror. But as you can see, that's been my favorite one since I hit the pan with it. Uh, so we might try and go for like a darker shade today instead of a lighter shade. Just play around with it. So, if any of these makeup brands want to sponsor me, that would be lovely. See you guys after I wash my face. Hey! So, I have washed my face. Um, now I'm going to put on this primer. Also, so after I wash my face, I put on a toner and then I put on a moisturizer so my face doesn't get too dried out. So what I'm going to do is take one of these. I normally do use beauty blenders, but I have a ton of these. So um, trying to get rid of them. Um, yeah, if you see me looking off to the side, it's so that way I can see what I'm doing. And I like this because it helps with uh, redness, and I have that, unfortunately, in my face. Um, so I would highly recommend it. Oh yeah, I said I was going to turn the fan off. I need to go do that. Uh, the air purifier that you hear, I'm going to leave on because it just, to me, sounds really peaceful. And then if you hear a dog barking, that would be my next door neighbor's dog. So just a minute. Next thing that I do... This may be wrong, 
Um, but next thing that I do is I put on concealer so that way when I blend, should probably not do that. But normally I would do concealer, but I'm just now thinking that's probably not the best idea. So what I do for, um, foundation is I get a little bit of water on the sponge. Ooh, I love how this is. Okay. There was supposed to be a brush. I don't know what happened to it. The brush must have. fell off. That's weird. We're just gonna glide. Normally you can just pour it out, which is it's what I think I might do. So that where I can get all of this on and I like how they had you uh take a quiz. I have to start all over again. Um, just so I could do this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Normally, I don't. Uh, do it this way. Normally I just pat it. You'll see what I do My forehead Hopefully Time to spread it out So it doesn't Look Cakey, because that's not what you want makeup to look like. Um, yeah, I definitely did not do this correctly. How do you take that off? The brush definitely fell out, which is kind of sad. Okay, we'll see if I can do it correctly. Okay, cool. This is what I normally do, is just dab it. Makeup gurus out there can judge me all day long, but it looks so orange. Which is not good, but covers what it needs to cover. Okay, so I'm done with. See, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I wonder if you can.
Now I'm just getting messy. But, yep, you can pop it out. This on the other hand, I don't think you can. Okay. So I will see you next for concealer.